Hello YouTube and welcome back to What The Math. In today's video we're going to be continuing chapter 15 of IB Math Studies and talking about a really important topic of areas of triangles. Um, this might sound very simple but it's actually a little bit tricky. So this is when you have a triangle where a height is not given but you have an angle and this is what I mean by this. So let's just imagine, imagine you have a triangle like this uh, and you don't really know what the height is. So, so this particular information is not given to us. We don't really know what this is, but we know at least two sides here. We know the side A and side B. And we also have the angle between these sides. So we actually know the angle. Let's call it angle theta. So can we actually find the, uh, the area of this triangle using this information? Well, the answer is yes, but how do we do it? So before we start, let's, let me just remind you that normally the way you would find the area is to by multiplying the base times height. No matter what triangle it is, so it's base times height and then multiplied by one half or basically divided by two. Base times height divided by two is how you find area of a triangle. Now in this case, we don't have a height. So we need to find the height somehow. So what would the area of this particular triangle be? Well, it would be this height that we don't have, this height. So h times b which is the base here and then all of this divided by 2. Now what's missing is height. Can we find the height? Well of course we can using trigonometry. So this is what trigonometry comes in. In this case if you look at this angle theta you will realize that a sine of theta, a sine of this angle refers to height divided by the hypotenuse a. And this is where trigonometry can, comes in. So here, uh, this side divided by this side equals to sine of this angle. Now, can we write, rewrite this for h? So let's rearrange this formula. h equals to sine of theta multiplied by a. And in other words, you can now take this h here and replace it with this h here. So even though we don't actually have h, we don't need it because we have uh, angle theta and we also have um, the side called A. So rewriting all of this, what we get is the following. We get area of this triangle equals to uh, B, which is the base, times A times sine of theta divided by 2. So essentially you can actually find an area of any triangle as long as you have the angle between two sides and you have those two sides as well. And this is actually the uh, the formula that we're looking for in this particular subchapter. So it's not very difficult. It's actually relatively easy when you think about it, uh, but you just have to remember that when you're not given the base, uh, but you have these two sides and the angle between them, you can find the area this way as well. So let's actually take a look at one of the examples from the book just to clarify this. And right here we have example 15 from your book and it's giving you triangle ABC and it's asking you to find its area. There is a side right here, just like the side that we had before. There's a side right here and there's an angle between them. Now, if you were to go about this traditional way, you would have to basically draw the height and then you have two right triangles, but then you realize you don't actually have this and you don't have this and there's no way for you to find these two sides. So you wouldn't be able to um, to actually solve this traditional way. You have to use the non-traditional way, which is by using the product of these two sides, uh, divide them by two and multiply by sine of 31. And what do you get? And what you get is this. So you get 49.3 centimeters squared. If you multiply these two sides by a sine of 31, you'll get 49.3 uh, square centimeters or square, yeah, centimeters square. Uh, and essentially this is how you would do these types of questions. So this is just another thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to trigonometry and also triangles uh, that you can actually find an area of a triangle without knowing its height. Anyway, so hopefully this was kind of clear and not too complicated. And thank you for watching. Good luck to you and bye-bye.